guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a very quick, hopefully quick, unboxing slash first impressions and comparison of a Saint Laurent wallet that I just ordered from Mattress Fashion, which has become my new favorite site and I'll tell you about it in a second. Um, and it is to replace this guy right here, which is my current wallet situation. And this is the Saint Laurent Fragment card case. I believe it's what it's called. Oh, my kitty's here. Hi, Bean. <laughs> she always has to be, she always has to make an appearance in the videos. Okay, so what was I saying? Uh, right, I bought this new wallet to replace this guy right here. It came in this giant box, <laughs> which I, for oh, the sake of the video, I already sort of opened up, but it was very like, it was very nicely wrapped up um, and it had my receipt and everything kind of tucked in there. And then it was packaged in this box so a box inside a box. Anyways, not really environmentally friendly, but it was it's beautiful packaging. And this is like the size of the item that I actually picked up. So really quick before I get started, like I said, I bought this from mattressfashion.com and that is my new favorite site just to buy sort of luxury goods. So if I'm not buying it in store, uh, I typically buy my items from essence.com, which is a Canadian site. Matches is based out in the UK. It's sort of reminiscent of net a -Porte in the sense that when you actually are checking out, they tally up your duties and your taxes. So what you see is what you pay, which is awesome. So it is cheaper um, than actually purchasing in store. A lot of the things like the Gucci bag I'm looking at is actually cheaper if I buy it through matches. Uh, I'm not sure how it exactly works and why it's cheaper, but it is. So this guy here um, is called the Fragment Fold, Fold Over Wallet and it retails for $5.85 Canadian on the Farfetch and on Saks.com and on the actual Saint Laurent site, it was like 600 and something Canadian with taxes. I ended up paying for this guy $460 Canadian, everything included, like that was it. And I also got cash back through Ebates. Now it was a little bit cheaper because I had 10% off. So when you purchase for your first time through matches, you get a 10% off coupon code. So that's like a little tip for you guys. So it was 515 Canadian taxes, duties included, minus that uh, 10%. And then I got about 12 bucks back in um, Ebate dollars. So I love matches. And the shipping is free, over 300 USD dollars, and it's two day shipping. I ordered this Saturday, late Saturday night, and I got it Tuesday. So it was insane. So shipping is crazy good and fast and they give you free returns. There's like a return label in there and it's cheaper and you get Ebates. So, I mean, matches, come on, where have you been? Oh, how have I not known? Okay, so without further ado, let me open this guy up. It comes in the same box that this guy actually comes in. And I got this guy, let me just show you. So in the box, you just have the authenticity card. There's a little dust bag and then there's a matches fashion. It says Saint Laurent Navy. I think the actual color is deep marine, which is what this one was too. This one was deep marine. I didn't want to go for the black. And voila, this is it. So this is the fragment flat wallet. Some uh, websites will call it the French wallet. You can see sort of side by side comparison. Uh, the same kind of color, if you look at the width of it and the height of it, so height wise it's like a little bit shorter, maybe what is that, like in three quarters of an inch, but sort of width wise it's the same. So and then that's it, sort of like that depth I guess that would be. <laughs> okay, so the reason why I decided to get something new is that, I mean, I thought this would be practical. I'm a minimalist. Like you can see, like I carry just a, like what? There's five, five slots there. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, cause I have 
two in there. And then inside here, I have like my ID and like my work ID and a few more things. I had like a dollar, I have a bill in there. Um, so it's awesome because it works for me as being a minimalist. However, what I don't like about it is the cards are so hard to take out. Like if I try and take this one out, it is a struggle to actually take it out. And that's due to the fact that this leather is super structured. And I love that about it because basically I can throw this guy around, which I don't do, but I definitely haven't babied this. And I've had it now for five months and it looks immaculate. Like the leather is perfect. The glazing is perfect. Like the zipper might have a little bit of wear on it, but barely any. And that's what I really love about this guy. I can just sort of grab it if I need to throw it into my pocket. It's small enough to do so and I don't have to worry about it getting damaged because of that sort of structured leather. And that's like the double-edged sword. Like it's really great because um, it keeps its shape and it doesn't show any scratches or anything like that, but it also is hard to sort of get cards in and out. Like this one, I seriously, I can't. There we go, <laughs> get it out. And the zipper compartment to me was not functional. If you see, if I open up, because it's so structured, like I have to pull on this guy in order for it to open that much. And then like trying to get in here, it's so hard and I scratch my hands. If you have like long fingernails, that's gonna be an issue for you. And really, like I have my, my work ID in there and then I have my bill. And that was another thing. My bill, I have to th fold three times in order to fit in. If it fits, if it goes in twice, it sticks out and then the zipper gets caught on it. So I felt like this wasn't very functional, this compartment. And when you actually put cards in it, I think that makes it even harder for the cards to pull out here, like the, to slip out because it puts pressure on it. So it just becomes like a tighter sort of fit. So. Those were like the cons of this guy, but um, I definitely liked the idea of it. So this guy here is a fold over and if you open it up, which this is my first time looking at it, I should actually look and make sure that nothing is wrong with it. Cause I just hyped up matches, but what if they sent me something defective? <laughs> so the glazing looks super good, leather, no scratches. Um, so what's this? There's just like a, piece of paper, fake little card. But if you take a look at the inside, they're virtually kind of the same idea. So you have the five um, card slots there and you also have the zipper there, but you have this guy which opens up in the back with like an accordion slot and this guy, which was basically the seller for me because I was looking at the Rosalie coin purse, but it didn't have a back slot and I really liked that this one did. And then I looked at the pocket organizer by Louis Vuitton but it didn't have like a snap closure. So this is kind of like the best of both worlds. So anyway, I just, I think this is phenomenal. There's the, if you ever wonder where the identification code on St. Laurent items are, like on the wallet, it's on the back side of the zipper here. Same with this item. So let's transfer these in. Let's see the difference. Oh, I should tell you the price of this guy. This is 385 Canadian. So this being 585, I mean, it's $200 more for this guy, but I think you're gonna get your bang for your buck there. Okay, so I can move my card slots. This even feels looser to me. Maybe it's due to the leather, cause you can see this guy's pebbled leather, whereas this one here, oh, I already got like a smudge on it, is not pebbled leather, but it has, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It has like a graininess to it. Yeah, you can kind of see the lines there. So it has a graininess to it that um, gives it a little bit of texture so it's not that smooth leather that I can scratch up. So I'm gonna quickly, I want to keep this under 10 minutes. It's already 9.36. Ugh. Slip my cards into there. You know what, this is like a store credit. I'll probably just keep that out. And these are my cards I have to use for work, for purchasing things. So I'm gonna actually just slip those into this accordion part here. And then I can also take that store credit, slip it in there. 
I have a picture of my dad I always keep by me. Um, and then if I take my cards out of this guy, oh, we should test and see if the bill fits because I think that's something that's pretty crucial. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine cards that I'm slipping back there. And you can see tons of room, lovely. And here's my bill, $5 bill. I'm going to fold it in half and see if it fits in. So let's see. Okay. Whoops. Oh, so let's put it this way. Okay. So it fits like that. So it kind of pokes out. You can see. However, because it folds over like that, I don't know if you guys can see, but it fits. Voila. So now I don't have to worry about folding my bills 10 million times. I can just fold it once. And throw it in there and we can go so it just it's a lot easier because I'm able to like sort through and see what cards I have there keep my base kind of cards here I could even take like my most used credit card close that guy up and just slip it in the back there so I just have sort of easy access to it which is awesome where I can keep store credit there or I could even put bills back there actually let's try that so I can take my bill and voila, you can see it kind of poking out a little bit, but I'm totally fine with that. And then I have bills there. So I'm super duper excited, guys. I mean, I think that if you're looking at this guy, this might be a better option for you. This one isn't going to be passed on to my husband because like I said, it's really, it's great. Honestly, it's, it can be sort of thrown about and I don't have to worry about scratching it or he won't have to worry about scratching it. It's just very, very durable and he carries less cards than me. So I think this will work for him. And this is my new guy. So again, snap closure. It even says St. Laurent right on the snap closure. It says St. Laurent on the zipper pull too. And then it just has that one sort of signage there, which is embossed. So. That is it. I think that's all I have to tell you guys. Um, I'm super duper excited to start using this guy and to pass this one on to the hubs. I mean, this one's still really great and that's why I sort of bought the, the version 2.0 of it. <laughs> but um, if you are, like I said, going and looking at this guy, take a look at this one because I think it's way more functional. So. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you if you were kind of debating uh, between this one and there's no other videos on this guy yet. Well, I couldn't find any. So anyway, I'm just going on and on. It's really because I haven't talked to you guys in like two months or so. Works crazy.